It is I. You're tuned in to the number one podcast in the DMV. I am your host, your late night supervisor, dope dealer extraordinaire, DC Zone, Rab, B I D Jones. That's Rabbit for your internet fools. To the left and right of me, as usual, my podcast partners, Ryder Correll and OnlyFans J. This is T3P. Now, Everybody know that I love the black ladies. <laughs> I'm lucky to be alive, happy, healthy, and free for me. But don't forget about those tubs, bro. <laughs> what it do? Talk to me, talk to me. This is the Third Perspective Podcast. You can catch us on Twitter, Twitch, wherever you get your live screens at. Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts at. We there. You know what I'm saying, dog? Check your boys out. We appreciate you a whole lot. Talk to me. How was your wait your weekend, bro? What's going on with y'all? What's going on, Jay? Talk to me. What's up with you? My weekend was right. We chilled out and shit, you know. You know, did um just came back, you know. Ain't do no shopping. Not yet. Not until tomorrow. Ain't do no eating? Oh, Thanksgiving, what? Did a lot of that on Thanksgiving. What are you talking about? Got some leftovers too. I'm about to make a turkey sandwich. You best believe leftover is the thing. It is the cream of the crop. <laughs> it's like only good cooks can take care of the leftovers. You know what I'm saying? Doc? Make them things. You know what I'm saying? Where the leftover turkey is now some motherfucking, like he said, some, some new shit. <laughs> With the turkey in the real, I don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? You know, how, you know how I quit smoking? Huh? You know when, you know how I quit smoking? Nicotine? Nah. I went cold turkey. Cold turkey? <laughs> you didn't get that, Jay. I mean, real. I did. 
That's the problem with it, wasn't it? I was going to hit it with the Waka Waka, but, you know, I don't want to rip off my man father like that. That probably was the problem with that whole thing. Cold turkey. I went cold turkey. Jesus. We eat cold turkey. Cold turkey. <laughs> cold turkey but it worked, though. Or sandwiches. It, it worked, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't, uh... You, you ain't it. smoking cigarettes. You, it worked. Whatever, whatever you did, you should write a book. <laughs> I quit smoking. You know what I'm saying? By OnlyFans J. You know what I'm saying? Uh, check it out. You know what I'm saying? Coming out published in 23. <laughs> 2023 out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but man, that stopping smoking is not an easy thing like everybody in America that smokes cigarettes can tell you. It's not something simple for him to sit in and just say, oh, I just stopped. They, I know all of them looking at him like, motherfucker, you ain't do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's why I say that's something that, that's, that's you know what I'm saying? That ain't nothing that you sneeze at right there. Just to stop smoking and shit. You know what I'm saying? Caffeine and alcohol are pretty hard when it's a kid. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you're going to stop the Aki, yeah. the, the Henny, and then the motherfucking gin. I don't know if that can stop. The vodka. Gin and juice. You want it, you want it. But cigarettes was made it for addiction. You know what I'm saying? Just like crack. You see how crack was so addictive? That's how it made so much money, right? Nicotine is the same way. It's so addictive. See, most things are not addictive. People might just like them. Like chicken, you like chicken. But it's not addictive. You get it. You go to Popeye's every once in a while, right? You know what I'm saying? But it's not addictive. Those things were addictive. That's the difference. The you know bird what I'm saying? Ain't the word, you know? Hmm? So the bird ain't the word. Yeah, nah. <laughs> the bird ain't the word. What's going on with you, Ray? What you doing this weekend, Ray? Yeah, first of all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all always hear my man, Ray B.I.D. Jones, say, I don't know nothing about that. But I've been told by several family members I need to check this man, tell him that. I Please know. check me. All the go goes out here. I've been spoon fed this before I could stand in the crib. Yes, I know about all the go-go. No, he don't. Oh, I, got, I got ripped by the family for not feeling <laughs> out there that I know about all the go-go. I know about all the go-go. Between two brothers and both of them had control of the radio. Know. Before I can stand there. This is episode all eight. Of it. Jay, Jay. All of it. All of it. Not I, I only. Just on there, they say I act different. You know, they Jay. Act, why you let them say that? Like you don't know nothing about the go go. Jay, Jay. You can't keep letting them say that. You like, don't know I, nothing so, about it though, Jay. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just saying they put me on game since I was a little young. No, no, no. Since, no. I, since I, I, I had Google Gaga, no, no, yoga. No, 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 no. Since Google Gaga, it's go go. No, no, no. We, we can't let you slide. I can't let you slide with that. First of all, they always hear that. They're like, let's run this thing now. I'm like, all right, it's been done. All right, so I had to put me on blast. I know about all the go go. <laughs> okay. Since I, since I was a teeny bop, okay. I mean, since I was in the creek, yes, I heard there you go. All of them, okay. No, no, you know no. What I'm saying no. all the, all and repeatedly hearing it, listening to it, it's two different things. And embracing it, all of that. Before I, I was doing, you know what I'm saying. I was doing, dog, it, but, you know, but we have done all that, dog. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, come on, How many episodes we done now? Just on YouTube, two hundred. Not on Spotify, just two hundred on YouTube alone, right? I saw every podcast on Google. Oh, I know. His head don't move. Not at all. So he can't tell any person that been following us to yeah, give this thing nah, nah. that he loves nah, Google now. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> ah! Like I said, you it's said too late. About it. I said, yeah, I do. Now, whether I live to it all the time, no, I stopped living to it about around 2000. Now, Jay you know head at least moves. You, know you see what I'm saying? saying? Especially some of this old joke you've been playing. Me. No, God, them man. things crank. Man, we got the tapes. No, no, they no. They like the tapes. Boxes, shoe boxes are the motherfucking cassette tapes. They move. They move the ladies' hips. That's one thing they do. You know what I'm saying? I got, I, I, I got called out by that. You know what I'm saying? Family had time. They got at me about it. So, yeah, I had to put it on black because they be watching the podcast, too. So, it's been known. I did my part on that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I made that known. All right. Next topic. You know? You know I'm slipping now, you know? The youngest can beat me in the game now. I don't like that. I don't get time to play it no more. Don't want to fucking stay in front of it all day. So, you know what I'm saying? They, they finally took the throne from it. It's like, you know, your, your, your son beat you in basketball. They ain't have to rap yet. It's going to happen soon. When little man beat him in basketball, you know, you, you feel a little disheartened. You know, video games is my shit, you know. I feel bad. I can't win no more. But it's all good, you know. No, you, you tried your best to win and I you tried, lost? I lost. <laughs> <laughs> Not lost. They destroyed me. 
and let and talk big shit while doing it. Hey, my nigga. They like, uncle, remember all that shit you used to talk? Yeah, that's not. It's one thing to play the joint and you realizing they're getting better, but you're not really trying your best to win. But if you, it's another thing if you're trying your best. Now you're pulling out all your stops, <laughs> everything you got in your brain, in your skull, and you're still losing. Yeah, they, then they, that's a different topic. Hey, they didn't even know about the rule. They're like, oh, you lost. You got to get the stick up. Oh, man. Oh, these little motherfuckers. Holy fuck, he giving the stick up, Yeah, Jay? I give the stick up. You laugh. Yeah, you, he, he, Jay, you, you laugh, you're not giving the stick up, though. Stick up. You yeah, might I be seeing they getting better, but you getting the stick up? You Jay, getting the Jay, ass whipping? Hey, Jay. Hey, hey, that, that's the rule. I told them that rule, so they learned it. Hold up. Like, yeah, I remember what? Like, Jay. First person got to get a stick up. Jay, 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 Jay. Yeah. Yeah, them like, getting better. That's like the other yeah, rule. That's yeah, that's something different. That's like the rule. Huh? That's like the rule. That's like the 21 skunk rule. Yeah, they didn't get that far yet. They, they're getting there, though. Yeah. Yeah, that Fortnite, they be dogging me in that, John. They're like, I can't, I can't play that. I, I'm like, <laughs> damn, which way y'all go? They Fortnite, be, Fortnite. Hey, they ain't built the whole castle and shit. I'm like, damn, we out there. Yeah, they got me on Fortnite. Yeah, they, they dog me on that. That shit got, it's, it's outside of my league. They beat me in the uh, <laughs> Super Mario Smash Brothers, too. They definitely they got me on Fortnite. Dang, man, it's a dog with them on this, man. I can't beat them no more, though. I can't play Fortnite, duh. Uh, he was in there having an argument. They told him, uh, you ain't played in 2019. You don't know what's going on. I'm like, yeah, y'all got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, they, they forced me out of retirement, man. I can't let that go. You know what I'm saying? They talking big trash. They was waiting on that. You know how more brother was waiting on it? He kept you slipping. They hit me with all my sayings. For a little tit in my eye. You know what I'm saying? Pass another torch. The way the game is controlled. As I got my tail whipped and I had to get the stick up. Wow. Mm. But it's all good, though. You know, you live and you learn. Outside of there, you know what I'm saying? Hey, good time. You know, good conversation. See how I'm um, getting young, older. You know what I'm saying? I'm mean, probably cheats now. So, obviously, you tried your best. You damn this to win. I did, though. <laughs> but the game didn't change. They got one button macros, and they doing stuff to take. I'm going to be trying to figure the controls out. They one button laughing at me. Wait, wait. They like, uh, which was taking you so long? Oh my God! We're gonna bring one of them on for Radical Rails Gaming Corner now, yeah. instead of real talk. <laughs> oh. They beating his ass. You know what I'm hey, saying, oh, Jay? Oh. Jay, Jay. They beating that anus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like you get back on. I'm like, nah, I took my lickings. You know what I'm saying? Y'all they got beat, that. They beating that ass, good. Jay. Jay, are you I don't feel so bad. They beat everybody though. They, they, they walked through the house. They just whipped me. They whipped the old heads in there too. <laughs> They ain't talking big shit. Now, nah, them all let beat me. And the people in my head, I can't let y'all beat me. Youngest, they sit around it all day, so they gonna know how to, you know what I'm saying? I don't have access to that, you know? I got a real world life now. No, 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 no. Nah, I got a real world life now. I can't beat 10 hours in front of the joint like I used to be. Nah. With my bowl of cereal, my big country crop bowl. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about that. I don't know. Wait before y'all I don't know when do we get into the world of now you making excuses. Nah, I ain't no excuses. That's facts right there. When did that come, Jay? <laughs> That's facts right there. I don't want the excuses. You ain't no excuses. Ask me. Hey, they don't want excuses right there. They ain't going to say facts. he ain't got time to, to I, do I what? Look, look, they stay at home school. They in front of the game while they at school. And you ain't beating them. That's his shoes, though. Not even on excuse, man. They, they got free time. You getting your ass torched. You know? Not just torched. They were talking big shit, too. They learn for the best, though. Feel proud. I had a little tick on that in my eye. Wow. And they were talking that big shit. This is all you got? You was all there. Like, yeah, I feel you. That, you know, like when you lose the basketball, you know? When your man's pull up on you, hit that jump in your face, you're like. Oh. It's tough that you played your best in lost. My best. Though. It's tough. It's tough, Jake. Yeah, my best. It's tough to, in, to swallow. Because any don't nobody know that you're playing your best but you. You feel me? <laughs> so when you in that joint. I'm focused. Though. I'm going to put the screen like this. Exactly. They, they lay in back laughing at me in the cut. like, yo. Why, why, Once you lose, it. you gotta get a sticker. You're not looking well. Yeah, they, they talking big trash. You know what I'm saying? I feel proud. I told them not to talk that trash. You know? That's the art of winning. You know what they say? Get that stick up. Oh, there you go. You gotta use bass in your voice. You, you know, had to get the known. stick up. Yeah, you gotta get a stick up. He had to get a stick up, Jay. Yeah, yeah. Normally, I sit there around the house out, you know, chill. But now I had to get a stick up. You know what I'm saying? But I got him back. I told him to go clean the dishes up. But still, you know what I'm saying? It ain't the same, you know. This is applause. This is applause 
for the uh the nephew to beat his anus. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah. Jake, do you have that problem? Mm. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. You ain't lose yet. Yeah, Jake Bacon, no. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Jay ain't lose yet. He ain't lose yet. Hey, they sniping him in Call of Duty. Man, stop it. Call of Duty is a problem. Call of Duty is a big problem. problem. It is a problem. Call of Duty is a problem. Fortnite is a real issue, too. They got the skin. Oh, they ain't even sucking you out. If I lose, I got bottom skin. I was like, yeah, I really get it <laughs> me. I was like, okay. So, trade them up since Peps. I'm proud of them. I got something for their ass. One of them named Hunter will come for y'all. Train them up real good and in front of it. You know, my honey gonna be coming for y'all. Oh, so I can get that control in his handle. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going up, I'm gonna do my dirty work for him. Round the house up, hand daddy the handle back. But you already lost, so you done. Uh, 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 it's passing the torch. Do you, you think know? you can beat anybody else after this in the house? Know about that. We don't know. So I Christmas all, time, I could be all the old head. You know, you got, a, you got a chance to come back right on Christmas. So Christmas, if he loses again, if we come in after Christmas, he lost again. Unless you, uh, he can't beat him. Unless you train up, so I got train up. <laughs> train up My man got to train up. I ain't got no time to train up. <laughs> ain't no time. <laughs> ain't no time to train up. That's sad. When you got to a point where you got to train, you getting your ass, but you can't do nothing. That's the old old school. That's what they call me, old school. It's new, new world out there now, dog. My old tricks don't work no more. We call you old school, though. Old school. Damn. Yeah. That's the difference when. About all they ass. As I was getting older, you, I realized you old when motherfuckers start calling you um. <laughs> you like huh? <laughs> hey um. Like oh shit yeah I'm yeah, old. old. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, and my reflux is slowed down too. My stomach be cramping up. Damn, damn, I ain't had none of your issues, man. Get old, suck, man. Did you say something crack cramping up? What? Yeah, my thumb be cramping up, man. You oh, you know where that come from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put some right trees, boy. Huh? My thumb be hurting too. Yeah, that shit fucked me up all right there. Uh, yeah, they, 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 that come from them pushing that tree joints. Yeah. Both my thumbs hurt. Yeah, that shit fucking with me. I was like, damn. Plus, I used to throw hands too. Y'all ain't do that part. Nah, me neither. That used to rip through the uh the strength, the thing that's covering the hands up, and then throw it over there. That ripping through just fucked my thumb up. Mm. Same. We're pushing that tree. Yeah. That got my thumb sore as shit. And my knuckles, because the hands was bouncing on my knuckles. You know, you know what I'm talking about when you push it and the yeah. hands bouncing. Yeah, that shit fucked me up. I'm like, motherfucker. Your knuckles, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you stop. Hey, like, why the tree stop? Man? You want to stop like right? shit because them joints bouncing. Yeah. Fuck your knuckles up like shit. Yeah, that's funny. You get a heavy or motherfucker up. Basically, up. In, the, in the cooler, mainly, yeah. Up. Them bones be hitting your yeah. knuckles. Anybody know what we talking about? We worked in the warehouse. That's where we met at. Working in the warehouse and shit. And uh, we, and these things called trees that hold all the hams on it. We could, worked in the warehouse with I remember one hams of, and shit. I remember one of them trees fell on the guy. The ham, the tree itself was like twelve hundred pounds. Then put the hams on it. It's just extra. But the hams itself had these big bones at the end, and they was hanging. So when you push the tree, the 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 ham will swing and hit your knuckles and shit. And once that that thing be tapping your knuckles all the way through yeah. that joint, you have to stop like oh <laughs> <laughs> we got three pig gloves on the yellow. Nah, gloves. them knuckle thing yeah, hurts. I'm about to say, none of that get all that hurt. Yeah. That's the only thing about that whole thing is pushing the tree, that thing bouncing on your fucking. Then they want us then they want That was us. only heavies, like you said. Yeah. They then they want us to stop pushing. Now heavies were a few at a time. The what, one was at a time. what was heavies? Heavies was the dark meat, the heaviest meat. Yeah. That was, that was, that was the that was the shame. The heaviest part of ham was the uh, heavy meat. Them motherfuckers like 80 pounds of ham. Oh, my God. Yeah, when it's raw. This is Smithfield that we talking about at work. Smithfield pack. Shit. It was raw. <laughs> I don't know how y'all motherfuckers to hang that shit. I, 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 I was about to quit that day. <laughs> they had me on the hang line truly. I never made yeah, it. Yeah, that shit heavy as shit. I think I did the hang line for one day, and that was done. I went home. It smelled like orange. Uh, sweatpants had crunchy on it. <laughs> the, my, my, boot, my socks were yellow, orange. My hands were fucked up. I said, never again, though. But I know what you're talking stop about. Bro, that thumb thing. That thumb thing. <laughs> that shit stopped stop making you The fact you said it, let me know that's where it's coming from. Because yeah. we both, I got that too. My thumb. Yeah. Thumb looks no good. 
You that motherfucker. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you know what yeah, just I'm saying? I'm thinking in my mind yeah, when I get like 60 something. I be doing that soup sometimes. I can't use that I be driving next scene of it and start doing all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Plus, we don't, freaking me out. Don't forget, like, we was in the cold, too. Yeah. That's what I said. The nerves start cramping yeah, up. Yeah, like that. Mm-hmm. A mental issue or something. This motherfucker, yeah. It don't start yeah. having a, yeah. a moment on its own. They do. My shit be doing that. Yeah. Like that nerves. comes from me being traumatized. <laughs> yeah. That's what I said. You got to stretch your hand out. Shit. She was traumatized, yeah. That's why I say, I don't know. Everybody that left that job did different things in their life. Me, everybody, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I, one thing I couldn't do was be a motherfucker. Uh, Uber. Out of I couldn't be an Uber driver, though. I couldn't be. Yeah, Uber, Uber, yeah. I couldn't be an Uber driver. I couldn't be a deliver. I couldn't deliver food either. Food, all right. You What's the tips, no, you know? I mean. You don't get no tips. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. That's you know what I'm saying. I'm thinking, I'm going to want a tip every time. Like, nigga. Yeah. But you can see it though. Because it's you wasting your time if you're not getting a tip, right? Yeah, you can see if you're getting tipped or not. Especially in door that they let you know. And like a motherfucker said, if you don't tip, I know the order. Swipe, I don't want that. Swipe, hold I don't on. Want that. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I th- now yeah. I think about it. I'd be doing that. Yeah, I'm going to get no, I don't get tipped down. Think about it. Yeah, that's why your shit take forever. My thing is, why well, I'm gonna give you a tip before I ain't seen it? I ain't seen the food or nothing. What I'm giving you tips for? All right, so you want me to up front and waste my gas and my time? That's the tip? Nah, I'm just saying gas is expensive. So me to get your food to you. A tip is for me giving you like compensation for your 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 service. Your your the way you gave your service to me. You know what I'm okay, saying? First of all, I don't make not, the food. Not before I never seen you or heard nothing. Okay, happened. okay. You try to blame me for your food being fucked up, but it ain't got to it. me yet. You want a tip? Yeah, because what I'm is that about? Food. I'm getting your food. You, you haven't me. gave it to me yet. So what? I'm giving you your food. I'm going to get it. I'm I don't know what's going to happen. But you can't blame me. It's the restaurant. <laughs> well, if you come two hours late, you already got a tip for that. Yeah. Why would you get two hours? With the for two hours, why would I give you a tip for that? The restaurant didn't have it ready. So you blaming me for that. Why would I give you a tip, though? Because I went and got your food. What if my bag got mud on it? Does that mean you dropped it right? Uh, yeah, I, I dropped it. That's the <laughs> Why would I give you a tip? I don't give you a fucking tip for that dumb shit. Yeah, but then I think the only I think the app would to go back to that. I can go back and take that back. No, you can. Yeah, yeah I, I can renege that. on that. Yeah. Oh, I right, renege. Okay, okay. It's, it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not like one of those give a nigga a dollar tip. You take everything with a dollar. You get a nigga four dollar tip and go back and renege yeah, yeah, on that motherfucker. Give me a dollar. Nigga, you can like that. Like, nah, 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 nah. You had mud on my bag, motherfucker. And then you ain't bring no ketchup. Bye. What? I, I can't control that. <laughs> I, I'm like, hey, Earth, he has one in his bag. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah, can bag, you do that? The bag, yeah. the bag staple. They got stickers on that motherfucker. They did start Tamper doing proof. I think McDonald's only want to do that, though. No, nah, all of them do that. Check it out. All of them. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, everybody got that shit now. Staple. And they wasn't doing staple. that. They wasn't doing that. First. And the drink got the little joint on top so, so you can't pull it off because it's how she knows. They got it. Yeah. Motherfuckers drinking sodas and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Add water back to it. I seen a um, I seen a YouTube video a couple years ago when a guy was taking a sip of the boy uh milkshake. Yeah. He licked the straw and everything. Took the straw out. That's not good. And then you ask him to go eight nine miles. They want you go all the way up up a mile, bro, in the boonies. Part three hundred one. You ain't seen. You know, see, you see a lot of truck shit out there. You know, I mean, just saying. You, you know, I'm taking a risk. I'm going down Dark Alley. I'm like, well, what's good? You know, I, I cannot come back. <laughs> All that for eight dollars? Yeah. Stop that, man. No tip. Go out there and they wait. <laughs> I'm not getting you a tip to get here. No, nah, it don't work like that. Then you ain't gonna have cash on hand. I prefer a cash tip. When you or get you here, put it on a card so they can trace it. When you get here and everything, you be like, here you, here you go, sir. You know what so, so what if they forgot to just make double? Everything in the bag, your napkins in there. Appreciate you. I did it. Yeah. So I, so when I you get in the car, up. it's a tip. I did a move out. Ain't no tip before I see you. What's wrong with you? I did a move out of Sterling, Virginia once. It was just by accident. And a lady left me a hundred dollar tip in an envelope. I was like, okay. Yeah. That was an accident or a tip? It was a tip. See, that's a tip. Yeah. See? I would do it that way, matter of fact. I wouldn't even do that shit on the app. Yeah, please. When you I'm, get I'm there, when you get there, and if you was acting right, shit, yeah, you got you got to file the tax. Yeah, you on the app, you get and, the money. If you acting right when you get there, then I'm tipping. It's not. I'm not tipping 
Cause it say tip before I get the food. Like fuck no. Why not? What's wrong with you, man? You know, you ain't gonna get your food. I, I ain't got shit yet, and I'm tipping. You know, doing that who pay you two dollars? Who the fuck I'm tipping, and I ain't got damn thing. Nothing. You two dollars for an order. All I did was type shit. Yeah. <laughs> who, who the fuck I'm a tip? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Now? Tip, I man. ain't got shit. What's wrong with you? Tip make a man work fast for you. Wow. Well, make you on front of that Chipotle line. Make you get in front of that uh, Chick Fil A line. No. Like yeah, I got this order. You on tip? Fuck that shit. I'm gonna send my cop out to me. Your food ready. One thing about my girl, she's the other tipping this shit. Yeah, she's like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, she's retail. That's my weed money. money. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm gonna get smart today, though. Wrong with you. Wrong with you giving him the weed money. Wrong with you. Got a tip. It's the American way. I don't, only tip when that motherfucker had a good attitude and treated everything without me saying, hey, can I get this? Hey, where you at for this? Hey, where's my ketchup? Hey, can I get a fault? Hey, where the napkins? If I ain't doing all that, motherfucker, <laughs> if I'm sitting here. No, no, real, real. This is to get the food from the nah. establishment. Then you, you don't you. need no tip then. And that's it. What you need a tip for? Because I'm using my gas and my car to go get your food. You should tip. No, 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 no. Gas is expensive. So it's like you ain't gonna waste your gas to get out of your good pocket spot because you had to come at 5 o'clock. Cause you gotta get there early, or you want to get no spot. You call Uber Eats, so or you call your dad, or grab her. You know what I'm saying? Tip. <laughs> it's the American way, though. No, nah. don't tip. Your food will sit there. They oh, that's why. Day. Yeah, you'll just sit there. Cause we that's... can see if you be getting tipped or not. If you ain't getting tipped, that's on three dollars. I'm gonna take your order three dollars and go all the way across Arthur Hill. What I look like? I'm not tipping your ass for doing no, nothing. Your food gonna sit there then. I'm not too too tipping your ass for doing a not a goddamn yeah. thing. And then you want to go to when you get it. I didn't tip myself. I did all the typing. I did all the typing, Jay. No, <laughs> I type. I need this and then that. Okay, I need a number four and number two. I, I type that. that. I type that. Who I'm tipping for? I I'm did everything I'm so far. What's wrong with y'all? I did every damn thing so far. That's and I want to tip you. There you go. We know the rules of the game. You know what I'm saying? If I order something from Wendy's on DoorDash, I'm going to shoot you an $8 tip. They can go higher if you get my shit there hot. Now, I, I add more to it. You got a little one show. You, 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 you can add more. But now I want my food. So, that's what's up there. Now, I get, I get McDonald's and I'm going to order on. I don't blame you. You the driver. It's not your responsibility. It's there that the McDonald's who fucked my order. I don't much. take that out. People take that out on the driver. Yeah. Like, why you ain't checked? Yeah. We, we, so you want me to open your bag up, eat some of your fries no. while I'm looking. You want to look sure at that in. bitch and say, hey, no, Charlie. No, they, they sell it. So you want me to unseal it. Okay. So I'm on the phone with you. Like, you so sure you when I look bag. at you and you and I say, dog, did, did you make sure this is right? You make should sure be able to right. look at me and say, yes, my man. Yes, yes sir. I did. Yes, I did make sure that was right. Nah, nah, nah. So when I open I this up, I need you to say, no, they told me everything was good. They don't have ice cream. You Wrong want that you. frosty? That's not apple. Yeah, they right. don't have no ice cream, sir. Yeah, they should have told me that. And no, you. they sent you on the app. You never no tip for you. You was up there. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? You was up there getting. It. Jay, no right. tip for you. See, that's what I'm talking about, right there. You was on with the American Society, here. <laughs> no tip for you, Jay. Yeah, it's fucked up, no. No tip for you. No. <laughs> y'all pay all them fees, the DoorDash and Uber Eats, but y'all don't want to tip the people going to get the food? Yeah. That's how it's going. I really don't. Yeah. Really yeah, don't. but you'll pay that extra $12 meal going to cost you $30, but you want to stiff the drive. The drive I ain't do nothing yet till I got it. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't got no concern about him till I get the food. He better have a good damn attitude when they give it to me. Nah, nah, I ain't got no attitude. Or you get no tip. Matter of fact, I like I like if you said leave on door. That bag better not be crumbled up. Hey, leave that door. That bag better be cracked. It better not have no mud on it. Yeah, you the same motherfucker. Text back like, yeah, they ain't wrong with you. My food ain't coming. Nah. That Uber or DoorDash gonna be bringing my phone up and like, yo, where your food at? I need my shit ASAP. I ain't got time to be playing with you. Y'all, don't be prepared to use those apps if you ain't got no money. If I order food, I need that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, Jay? No, I need that. Niggas go to the crab shack. Get y'all a motherfucking bag of lock shrimp boys. That sounds the whole good. Car that sounds good. You know? And y'all want to. Or let the Uber driver bring Or you want me to go sit on Friday on Friday night. 
especially the one in Disney. Now, like, my that nigga, that motherfucker is long as hell waiting in there with and, eighteen hundred drive. If you is a is a driver bringing me some crabs, I'm uh, now you want to tip early. Then I give you know I give you that. That's no problem. So you already know it's gonna be lit up. You yeah. so already know it's something <laughs> happening before you get here. You feel me, Jay? <laughs> All right, now you get it. Now I get it. So what about the one, the one from the album B, and that Friday on the Thursday and Friday night when you gotta wait in a long ass line? Nothing but driving. Right, that's not the problem. That's your job. Lady. That's my job. So it's, well, I'm waiting 45 minutes on your food, and you ain't tipping me. Hey, I'm out call. there waiting 45 minutes, and they cook your shit. And this shit still ain't ready. It's gonna be cold. By the time I get to you, you don't blame me for that. You choose to do that. I choose to do that. <laughs> Man, that's fucked up. That's you choose the Uber drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Uber Eats, whatever the fuck. I know that, dog. Okay. What the fuck is going on with your boy, though? And this y'all, this is your boy, I think. Who, this is your boy? LeBron boy? James. No, that's your man. Which one of your boys is that? That's LeBron James. That's your man. All right, first of all, you A Ball Man Man. Y'all seen that shit? Mm hmm. You say it was A Ball? On purpose? No, no, he meant to get him out of the way, but he, I think he wanted to leak him. Right he did on, I think he did on purpose. Yeah, that man leaking, soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he walked up to LeBron. He wanted to swing on LeBron. LeBron was saying some old pleas and shit. Like I didn't mean to do that. You know what I'm saying? Now, once that nigga looked up and saw all that blood, like, oh, give me a motherfucker. <laughs> I want to talk to you one more time. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's someone making you like me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga eye, nose, lip, tongue, everything bleeding out there. <laughs> and if I fucked him up, yeah. That's what's up, though. Baby man ran around the fucking joint like, I ain't never seen no dumb ass shit like that, though. Where you just run and say, okay, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm, all, I'm okay, though. I'm chilling. And then run. You know, so he thought he was over with it. He kept looking at his eye leaking. He's like, fuck that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The eye leaking was crazy. It was running down his joint, though. You can't roll like that, though, Jay. <laughs> we ain't you. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the last time we seen that much blood coming out of somebody's eye in basketball. It good. I don't remember. Yeah, that's a lot of shit going on there, yeah? I'm trying to think. Who was bleed? Uh, damn, you right. <laughs> The only, t- the only, the only, only thing, only thing I saw was somebody get elbowed, and this is break, and then they had to get a face mask. What's wrong with that much blood coming out of somebody's shit leaking? That's why I ain't seen that. No, what you saw it in Rocky IV. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> <what was> shit. <laughs> he ain't, he's a machine. He's a machine. I'm a black man. That nigga face was pouring out. <laughs> I think all his fights and shit was pouring, though. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how the nigga was. He had a rocky face. <laughs> but do y'all think LeBron is starting to feel like he... What do you, you think of LeBron right now this season? What are y'all looking at right now? Yeah, the end of... Well, the last championship... That's coming from LeBron fan. The last championship would be his last. That was last? That was the last. bubble joint, right? Yeah, that's his yeah. last championship. Yeah. But what we're looking at is... It just seemed like somebody was frustrated to me, right? Because it's like he's he, getting desperate. Yeah. Not frustrated. Yeah. Desperate. Because it's like you stand in the middle of a game that you can't change the outcome, right? And the door is closing in on and no matter what you do. You gonna have spurts here and there. All players can do that. But to staying over the period of a game, it's starting to get hard. You know what I'm saying? You nigga with 37, you getting desperate. But you got you brought on all these people to take care of his weight, and it's not happening. But he didn't start to the team, right? Like, like what's shooting. his name? Uh, Westbrook. You got Westbrook. Shooting. It should be Westbrook. able to. Westbrook. Davis, too. Davis don't stay healthy. Street clothes, Davis. But well, just Westbrook alone should be enough. Russell Westbrook. That when LeBron sit down, it should be enough. That should be enough. Russell Westbrook. Yeah, you trying to shoot threes and. <laughs> West, and uh, Westbrook. Yeah, thank you. Jay said it's better. What about LeBron telling him, uh, motherfucker, to get out? Y'all yeah, ain't see when he told the people. He got oh, yeah, yeah. He said they said something not racial, but fucked up to him. And he was doing it for a minute. So he was like, you know what? You ain't see that. Yeah. yeah, I saw it. Everybody said he was talented, but you don't have to be heckled all the time. And it's too far with heckling. So whatever they said, he didn't want to bring it up because I think he wanted to damage the game. 
But the people in the stadium, they should ask the people what the fuck they said. I think LeBron should say. Well, I mean, what did he say, LeBron? Like, like, they said he said it wasn't racial, so it was something else. Like if it ain't racial, what can it be? It's something to fuck with him. Right on business name, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something happened to someone on that line. Like, that is just, yeah. And then, man, Westbrook came over there, co signed. You get him out of there. I'm like, he ain't even here now. He's talking about LeBron. You got always being everything. But, but you know, he always, he always get happy everywhere yeah, he goes. Yeah. So he likes shit like that. Especially Phoenix. What? Phoenix. So every time you go to Arizona, All right. they stay. Uh-huh. It, it was a Phoenix one. Uh, but he won't, so LeBron won't say what it is. That's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, let's say that they, they put the what's what can be something you could say that lies you get put out. What you think? What's one thing you can think of, nigga? Which one thing you can say? All right, that's right. He said it wasn't racial. Though. He said it wasn't racial. Right. So, it ain't racial. It, it gotta be something the famous type, like you know, you sweet nigga. <laughs> Faggot. <laughs> it has to be something that. You them only trigger words. But you okay, say calling him a bitch is a trigger word, so they might have been saying that. This is a legend. I'm hearing that they that they were saying that his son should die. Some shit. His son some slop. Some since his son some some yeah. shit. I might go at you on that. But let's stop and think for a minute. He's a bad, he's an NBA player on the court. They paid their money. She on the bottom. She paid a grit to be down there, Slim. That's about you know, four thousand. Man, you better stop playing. <laughs> I don't think I, as a nigga, I don't want to get up without a fight. Like nigga, I pay too much money for you. I am lying out like a bitch out there. Like, what can I say to make you stop the game? LeBron stopped the game. Told everybody come on, like it was a fire over there. Yeah. Yeah, he told the security. He was like, "Come here, man. Come here." Like yeah. it was a fire or something. Like, what can they say, right LeBron? Yeah, He's too right here. Get, get them. The- like what? 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 What the fuck can he say, LeBron? Tell us. Like yeah, what is? What is that? It, but he don't want to say it. But he needs to know. Cause yeah, because why would you get somebody racial, put out man. for saying what? You said it wasn't racial. Like to me, after that, it's like you way down here, down the steps. With what you talking about now? Yeah. Like they, See, them people pay money. They should be able to say whatever the fuck really would. Without getting, oh, oh, oh. and then if they get under your skin, that's the whole point of it to make you fucking fuck up out there. So, so gonna, if I say I want Bronny to die, you miss the next six free throws, worrying about what the fuck I said. I did my part as the sixth man, right or wrong, Jay. But see, the part about that is he really did die. Hold on, LeBron son died? No, Brad. He said, oh. No, no, no. I'm talking about somebody else. No. So I'm about oh, Kobe. that is crazy for him to say. <laughs> I want your son to die in a plane crash or something. That'd be crazy as shit. But even if they said that. Somebody did make a cartoon before it happened, though. Like, my nigga, I can't figure out what can you say to make you get thrown out of a game. So what? Who cares? You know what they say in football games? Stop playing with me, Slim. You can't even get an end zone without some derogatory shit coming your way. There's no way possible. Like, yeah, you're going to get that. Come on, NBA. Like, what the fuck can he say? LeBron need to tell us. What can these two, that bitch say? Tell us. What in the world can that white boy and that bitch possibly say that can get them put out of a game? I don't give a fuck if I pay $50. For what? Like, what can he I say? Said, he said, allegedly, it was something like this son was some shit. I don't, yeah. Well, to me, like they that's me, it. They, they tell them the truth. To me, what can <laughs> words coming out your mouth is part of the game. You the sixth man. I should be able to say whatever the fuck. If you believe it and, and it gets in your fucking your brain, that's your fucking fault. That's what it's supposed to do. Exactly. If you can't throw a touchdown now, okay, I did my part. We won because of me. Then I feel like I'm part of this game. If you miss your free throw because I'm back there swinging these things, but it's big ass finger and all this shit, that's your dumb mm-hmm. ass fault. You know what I'm saying? What can he say, LeBron? Supposed to be the number one player in the league, worrying about what somebody's saying on the fucking sideline to get them put the fuck out. I don't give a fuck they said nigga, be honest with you. Mm-hmm. If they said nigga, you some shit, who gives a fuck? If that makes you miss the free throw, they did their part. 
can't have him coming. Now, if they get off, if they get up, that now, why not? Yeah, there's yeah, yeah. somebody about to get slapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a line you can't cross. Hey, so what if they throw that cup? If I wouldn't allow them to call nah. me in the street, that you ain't can't call me that in the game. It's different if I if they throw. Nah, 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 I won't allow you to call me that outside the stadium. Yeah, nigga, you can call me in the inside. Nigga, you playing <laughs> basketball? All right, but they, they I played play. x amount of dollars to be sitting here watching you play, which is going to your salary, and all I'm doing is being a six man. To help my team beat your dumb ass. We'll so when I say whatever the fuck I say, no, fuck you. you. Really <laughs> fuck wrong with you. Can't be disrespectful like How sensitive can you be? It ain't sensitive, dog. Respect. That you worried about me and try to get me put out. Oh, let's go back in the day. You think anybody say nothing crazy to Barkley when he's running his ass down yeah, up and down the street that, and he's fucking with a white bitch and top of that? Ain't had them small ass booty shorts. You think this nigga ain't get? <laughs> He, I want to hear what they said to LeBron. You know, I guarantee you ain't worse than what they said to Rodman. Run up and down the court. And then he stopped and say, let's stop the game. Fuck this. Get this motherfucker out of here. He called me a fucking faggot. And he got a lot of that. Trust and believe. Because he, cause yeah, he wore he a dress. One of the bad bitches in the world. What did he say to LeBron? Because he wore a dress. What did he say to LeBron? What, what in the world can he say to LeBron to make him stop the bad. game, y'all? I can't, I can't figure this out. Bad the but they was calling them names too. Yeah, weird. Exactly. Weird, but he ain't stopped no game to call stop because he called him weird or some jackass. So what do you say, LeBron? Is what we need to know ASAP. You just said it wasn't racial. So to me, the racial part was the only thing that can do this to me. And I don't even think that's a qualifier. But to most people, it might be. But I should, you should be able to say what the fuck you want to say out your mouth. Period. So but when you start throwing shit, that's a different thing. You throw something, that's something different. The brawl at the crowd. You should be able to put up any sign that says fuck LeBron and his son. <laughs> Dumbass niggas. Simple as that. <laughs> if that make you miss eight free throws in a row, because you worried about me, that's what I put, that's what I'm here for. To help my team win. You know what I'm saying, though? And you turn around like a bitch to say, get him out of here. Dog, we can't just, re we can't go back and think of the shit they said to Carl Malone who played in Utah. They love Carl Malone. Nah. You, we can't imagine what they were saying to him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Chester Molester. Allegedly. We can't imagine <laughs> what they were saying to him. You know what I'm saying, though? There's a lot of players I could think of that was going through Shit that you there's a there's an automatic radar for shit like that. And LeBron is not even a radar for anything. So he needed to tell us what it was, other than he black. And he said that wasn't part of us. Come on, man. I think I think LeBron's one of those. Come on, man. You can't be this sensitive man. I think you should have been out there with the man say it from the get put out. Exactly. Thank you. I need I think everybody needs to know exactly what was said. Yeah, I want to know. I do want to know. I've been wanting to know when I first saw it. I don't know why he ain't saying nothing about it. Let me always say something like that. He said this. I found it inappropriate. Yeah, because I'm starting to think he thinking is over the top what he did because he was just saying what they said. No, he wanted him out for a reason. If he said it, everybody looking at him like, what? That, that was it? You know what I'm saying? I think that's what he felt like. If he tell you what he said, that's what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? That's but what I'm telling you is allegedly. What I'm saying is allegedly. It was on the YouTube on the, on the one of his uh, pages where they was going back and forth. I'm getting that off of there. You know? So I'm saying this is allegedly what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know why you want to put so much of the dead. That's, right. what, well, that's what I'm saying is. They was talking about his son. That's the legend. But even though they were, that's not enough for me. You know what I'm saying? I just can't imagine. You were talking, like you said, though, if, it's different if it's about the son. You can say whatever you want to about me and all that. I get that. But when you do bring the family into it, that's like, we're going to break your wife and shit like that. You can't say shit. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, it got me a level of respect. Like you say, they can't say what they want to say about him. If you're a bum ass and all that, yeah, you can say all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But you can't bring your family into it. Then that's the sort of subject. 
So he's saying a person in the crowd screaming, your son is a bitch. That's, different, That's enough to get put out? Hey, if my son is not playing in this game, you shouldn't be saying it. What? Hey, his son ain't dead, so his son not playing. But my objective is to get you out of your game. I understand that. I get what you're coming The one from. thing I can do in my shit. Is a level of respect. The one thing I can do as a, as a man in the crowd, a person loving the game, whatever I'm watching, is be involved in some kind of way with my noise, everything I'm saying, to heckle you, to get you out of your game, something that the players can't do, right? And that's what I'm here for. If I can get you out of your game, you that dumb, you think ain't nobody say nothing crazy to Jordan? No. You come on, man. Ain't never say nothing crazy to Jordan. Is he serious? Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Everybody want to be like one. If you think ain't nobody say nothing crazy to Jordan and he ignore that shit and score 60, you tripping. You can't stop the game and say, oh, no, nah, he called me a, I don't give a fuck. He called me a nigga. Let's say he said that. He called me a nigga. Hey, he called me a nigga. Okay. Why you stop the game, though? That don't even sound right. And get them put out. It's just, to me, I got to figure out what he said. I got to hear what they say to me. You know what I'm saying? Everything is out on the, on the, um, on the, on the internet saying that they said something about his son, but who gives a fuck? To me, that's not even enough. Everybody got their breaking point. Yeah, but we talking about an NBA game. Your breaking point ain't got nothing to do with this game. But you been wrong. You picked that nigga up and slammed him. Like, what the fuck you said about my son? <laughs> ain't wrong now. Now everybody want to cancel him. Get him out of here. He should have done that. Whole contract. Then the motherfucker in that front row seat wants to sue him. He should have done that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> It should be like break a man. You talk about that man's son. He should have been like, bro. That man, probably flip out. Yes, you know that man. He getting elbows in his head. He leaving. He should have been like, bro. I'm gonna meet you outside then. Okay, after yeah. I score sixty, like a Jordan would do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That like Jordan would do. Okay, nigga, what you just say? Okay, I'm about to score seventy on your team real quick and have your ass sad. You know what I'm saying? Now, nope, LeBron will get you put out. Yeah. You pay my man for following proper channels. You know? <laughs> Why don't we be respectful to the fan? The fan do that when you do somewhat respect. No, we don't. You know, you can't. You don't get it. No, we yeah, don't. Really we don't do. have to give a fuck about you. You really do. At all. You really do. What do you mean? That's like saying the customer can shit on a retail work because he can't. Have you ever seen that cartoon where they punch in it? They punch in, I think it's a cat and a rooster. They punch in, right? With the Flintstones. It's not, it's not the Flintstones. It's a cartoon where I think it's a rooster and a cat. They both go in, they punch in, and then it, after they punch in, they start going at each other. The whole time they go at each other until they punch out. That was a gloomy tune. That's how that it is, though, dog. You got to go at each other, and then after the after game, then you as a, as a person in the crowd say, hey, man, Good game, um, LeBron. You're a good athlete. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but right now, I'm a part of my team, and I'm the sixth man. This is part of the game, bitch. What's wrong with you? Yeah, you know? I respect you at the end of this. Yeah. <laughs> but I pick the snowflake ass up when you cry. When we finish. But right now, you got to stop putting people shit at bloody states like this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, making shit, shit, people shit leak. And getting people put out of game. And looking like y'all, what they, 9 and 10 or some shit in the Lakers? 10 and 11. recently, they fined LeBron 15000 For the elbow, right? No. It's a shot. He shot a three. And then, you know, he went down to court, pulled his nuts. <laughs> and they fined him for that. Was that the same game? What? No, it was, it was the Pacers, I think. Okay. That's what this is or something, huh? That's what this is or something? No. No, 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 no. He shot three. Turn and around, yeah, go ahead. He turned around and grabbed his nuts. And sucked my dick, nigga. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I think this is going to be a long, long season for LeBron. <laughs> 
I'm gonna be honest with you, dog. Because it just don't look the team itself, everything just don't look right to me. It don't feel right. And in every game they play, it just don't seem right. It just get worse and worse. Yeah, yeah. And I got LeBron bailing out of this but shit real soon. They did the same thing. They did the same exact Not- thing when he was with Cleveland and they stopped putting uh, uh, the way way they put Jerry Bros there, they put uh Harold Matres Harold and mm-hmm. another person. Then they had a super team there with everybody, but the chemistry wasn't in. <laughs> I, I I always say this what I mean about LeBron from the beginning. Like he needs a star that, that that takes over the he needs to be a person just on the team. If not, they just gonna lose. And he's gonna be a person sitting there trying to get out of this mess or get another person or trade a person real quick or something. You know what I'm saying? That's what kind of player he is. People don't understand that. That's why you can't match him with Jordan. Maybe other players you match him with, but just not Jordan because he don't have that in him. He have to have somebody with that in him on his team, or he don't flourish. You know what I'm saying? The bad thing about LeBron is you got people that do want to play with him, maybe, and then you got others that don't. Like he, he had it good with Kyrie. Kyrie just didn't want to play with him, and then as soon as he left, because you know, he started tripping. He just need players. He need players that can take over a game. Like a like a let's take Dwayne Wade for example. He need that type of player on his team because he can't do that. It's it's just literally just bottom line. He can't do that part. So he need that player so he can do all this other stuff during the game. So when it's crunch time, that player is there for that. He don't have that player on the team now. AD ain't doing that. Westbrook ain't doing that. Fact, Westbrook lead the league in, in motherfucking turnovers. Just, just turn the ball over. That's right. You got AD, I think one of the top ten players in the league. He been, but he not been, playing like it. You see him and, and James Harden leads the league in that anyway. James Harden yeah. to me has, has been one of the overrated players in this league for the last ten years. Mm. Where everybody run around talking, best shooter, the best this and I've ever seen. You just look stupid saying that. You know what I'm saying? No, he just look like boo boo the fool out there, young. Know? He just don't look like. He just something about him just ain't there. You know what I'm saying? As a basketball player, put it like that. He fits in like a six man. I think he's been overrated early since then. Early since then, I think he he's just a six man type of player. But you bring him in and let him do all types of anything, all type of play, shooting guard forward. And God, let him rotate all around off the bench as a six man. He's not a player that you stick in as your starter. You know what I'm saying? He's just not. You're going to lose. As you can see, he never won. He don't win as a starter. You want MVP? He don't win as a starter. Yeah, he do. He don't win Where? Playoff. Where? He don't win the playoffs. Where he winning? Houston. He always winning. Where he go at? You know, he wants to go watch the conference run. What? Yeah, remember they lost the... Uh... Then let the Clippers come back. Westbrook was on the joint? No, nah, no. Nah. I'm talking about Hard. When he first got there, oh. he went to White Howard. Oh, Hard. Yeah, oh, okay. and, then, and then the uh, Clippers was up 3 1, and then Houston came back and beat him. And then he choked the last game against Golden State when Golden State was the one first title. Remember, he dropped the ball and fell down. <laughs> it ain't been right since then. You got to do research. research. What you, you say? Call, uh, <laughs> I remember that joint. Westbrook did that too. Yeah, dribbling, 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 dribbling. He shot the ball and missed. Yeah, that's yeah, third. Harden didn't even get a shot off. He fell down, lost the ball. I think Livingston took it from him. That was the game. But this, this is just the point. And then they had Kevin Durant at that time. The the Thunder did. But see, Harden and all these players came from the Thunder too. Yeah, Reggie Jackson. Yeah, him. Yeah, Serge Ibaka. Yeah, Kevin Durant. Yeah, I just think Harden. All these motherfuckers are one. Harden is better six man than star. 
Because he's not a guard. He's not a forward. He's not anything. He's a two guard. You can't say a two guard. He's a two guard. Because when you see him out there on the court, he's two guard. He can't check any two guards that live in. He can't. What do you mean? He got to shake. He can't check anybody. He can't check people. What are you talking about? Yeah, he can check people. He can't check actual shooting guards. He might check a point guard. See, the problem with Harden. He can't check no forwards. He basically a liability out there, bitch. The, the, the problem with Harden is he fucked himself. And Dennis Hanna is stupid. He fucked himself when he uh tried to pull a move to get out of Rockets, Houston, when he gained all that weight and just started being lazy. Yeah. Work them. They changed the rules this year too, what makes him hard to, to do all that holding the ball and pushing people off and all that shit he was doing. Mm-hmm. Can't do all that shit. Him and Curry was doing that shit with faithful. <laughs> but Curry didn't even really need to do that. All he do is just throw the ball up and make the motherfucker. <laughs> he just toss any goddamn thing up from half court. And to me, it. that's the easiest shot in the game. But it is, it is the easiest shot to defend too. I think Curry is the easy person to defend. Yeah. Now, if you just toss anything up and make it, you can't defend. You can defend that. You can't defend that. Unless no, you, you can defend it because unless you're a tall person that can block in the air. No, what I'm saying is their whole offense is revolved around trying to find a way to get them open to shoot a jumper. So just like they used to do Hornet sack back in the day, and all those type players, Dumas, all those type players run off 29 or oh, Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller. He's a run off 29 Ray screens. Allen. Ray Allen. The whole offense is trying to get them open for Jay, right? Which just makes it so easy. Because Jays are easy to defend. So you get somebody linky on Curry that when he do the step back Jay joint, they got a hand, not only his face, that can actually touch the ball. Tip it here and there. You see what I'm saying? Like, what's the white boy that used to play for um, the Lakers, but he played for the um, um, Bulls now? Um, Caruso. You see the type of defense he play? He's linky. But on guards, he can strap them up because when they pull that bullshit up like that, he's long enough to put a hand not only in their face, but he can tip sometimes. You see, he's an aggressive defensive player, too. That's what you need. You need an aggressive Because Murray, player. to me, that's the easiest shot to defend. Because right now, I'm telling you right now, the Golden State Warriors is running away with Can Curry walk up and shoot from anywhere from behind three point line? Yeah, but far as them like on the win, they like on six game winning streak or some shit. Hmm. Um, Golden State. They They just won. They just on the seventeen game winning streak. Hold on, what? Phoenix said. Yeah, Phoenix said from last year. No, no, from this year. Hold on, what? They're not seventeen, though. No, I mean what's seventeen and three? Seventeen and three. And Golden State eighteen and two. Yeah. Well, yeah, you gotta respect that. You know what I'm saying? And then they don't even have James Wiseman yet, and and uh, so the other Splash Brother. Yeah, it's on like Jay only fan Jay is a Golden State Warrior fan. I ain't a Golden State Warrior fan, but I know yeah, this is it's gonna be a it's gonna be a collision course for the Nets if the Nets make it. It just made me crazy when because it looked like Philadelphia might be coming in there. You're not Philadelphia ten and ten. Philadelphia 10 and 10, I don't think trash over there. Wizards in third. Come on, man. The Wizards in third. Just think about that for a moment. <laughs> 13 and 7. But yeah. Maybe I mean, so easy. Let me tell you how you defend. Nah, See, you basketball can't. was my shit when I was You can't defend range. I study basketball. So even if you play good defense, what you would do, Curry can make a 30 foot. All would you do with Curry, first of all, like I said, put somebody linking on him. You, you put somebody with right long behind. arms on them first. All like, right, so we're gonna maybe a small four, right? And from the beginning, you pass somebody in his face from the time you take it out of the ball, from, from top of the court. Somebody standing there in front of him all times in front of him, right? Anytime you pull up, anybody linky and long going to put a hand on, you get a hand on that joint easy. So you got to run picks, right? Yeah. That's where you got that. They got him. You got him. If they old office is trying to make him get an open shot, you win. Where did Stockton Malone do so well? Huh? Where did Stockton and Malone do so well? This because the pick and roll. All you got to do now is, is try to run up on the picks. Yeah, he's going to rub you. It's easy. He's faster than anybody you can put on his link. 
Okay. So he's going to run to do no. that, and that same person not going to end up with No, him. see, he ain't let me finish, did he? Then you got to think about it. Listen. They got more than Curry that shoot three too. That's another thing. That's Who else? You put two Jordan on Curry, Curry. you open it. Nah, we ain't worried right. about that. Jordan Poole's Look, three I, you two. keep saying that. Them the niggas is beating them. Nah, but what you do is. Clay Thompson ain't listen, back there. He run around picks, right? Yeah, you got the person yep. You got the person yep. running behind him, and he catching the pick, or running behind him, whatever. Whoever that is, that man that's on him, you release him at all times, period. If he missed any shots, they long rebounds, and whoever he, man he on is wide the fuck over under the rim waiting for you to throw it to him. Mm-hmm. Every time. Okay. And what that do, what that do, real, is slow him up from throwing these joints so far away from the rim. Because he know his man is not thinking about him no more. He running down there. Right or wrong. Why this is really- part of basketball. So if he come down and just start pressing to shoot long ass range joints, but his man's releasing, no matter what is going on, what do you think a person can make a great hill pass every play? You don't have to. You do if you release and the ball. He out of place. Even if the ball don't go in, it's going to hit the rim. No matter what. So he, if it hit the rim. You throwing it from the other court to the other court every, every time. Ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. He, every time he is out of place, regardless. It's not gonna work. He is out of place. He can't check his man regardless. I get what you're saying, but it don't work like that. So when we come down, the, either way, we got matchup problems. Because now he matching up on somebody else because he's not on his man, dog. So now we come down, he matched up on a big man, pound his bitch ass. He not going to keep shooting okay. these threes, okay. dog. I get what you're saying. You got to make him work on defense. Then when he get down there, make him work and bring his ass yeah. fuck back down yeah. here. Yeah. Answer me this. That's I mean, a defensive coach. If I was coaching, Dave. How, how much uh, did Curry <laughs> make a game? Seven, right? Sometimes he wouldn't seven. shoot him that many because his man releasing. He would be Jay, too scared Jay, to do it. Jay, how many Curry <laughs> shoot a game? Twenty now, right? He had jack up any guy. Yeah, yeah from, from anywhere. anywhere. Yeah, from anywhere. So he had jack that's up. pointless. And, and what you mean? Win. Nah, he shoots, he shoots like a forty percent. Nah, nah. You, you put your hand in his face and release That's every it. time. You wide open, first of all. And eventually, he had to stop and try to check you or stop shooting these threes because it's fucking their game up on the other end. It ain't just him. What you mean? He shoot him, but he can be decoy. You got two people chasing him. You got one person to try and beat where he at. And right no. there, one person running behind. Him. No, and right no. there, they got three people that shoot threes on no. the team. No, and then they got a whole. It doesn't matter. He a point guard, right? Right? Yeah. So whoever check him as point guard, release. Every time. Regardless. That's his main. When we get down on the other end, it's a mismatch. Because he wants somebody and it's not his man. Regardless. And that man take him in the post and beat the shit out of him. By the third quarter, he is not jacking that bullshit up, you know? Not only that, he probably hurt. He probably been beat up so much trying to check main man in the paint. He really ain't tossing that shit up. You got to make these niggas work. LeBron the same way. He's some shit until you get these spurts. So you, what you do? Make them work on defense. The pro whoever he's checking on defense is not making them work. Period. He's shooting threes up more than he ever did in his career this year. Whoever checking them should release. Every time, make them hustle back. If The least you get out of this is he got to hustle back. Period. It's a mismatch if he don't hustle back to me. That's simple as that, dog. That's how you play basketball. That's how you make mismatches. And when a nigga's shooting threes, that's the easiest thing to do. It's the easiest thing to defend. It's the easiest thing to make him tired, first of all. By third quarter, if he's jacking them up, they air balls. And then he run, he forces himself to rush himself back. So they bricks. Air balls and bricks. What, what game you watch on What? I'm getting you facts. Basketball yeah. facts. True. Show me the game. A motherfucker that can shoot from 30 feet ain't a defender. What do you mean? If I can pull up from 30 feet, ain't no defending it. Even if you press me the whole way up. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So but you got going, to check your happen, man, though. What's going to happen is somebody's going to set a screen for me, and I'm going to jack it. And you got to check your man, though, bro. Yo, my man ain't gonna cut back to this. So you're not gonna jack it. His, his job is to crash the board. And, and you probably don't even get your, all your follow through through because you're worried oh, about this oh, nigga. You throw what you you're gonna be like, oh shit, I gotta hurry up back in. No. Because this nigga is keep releasing. Niggas don't throw the ball all the way across court. 
Young, you not you not paying attention. If I shoot a three, every time I shoot a three, my man releases and shoot a layup. He's it's it's, it's regarding what I'm doing there. I gotta stop doing this because it's not making any more sense. You are not making any sense to think a nigga can make a grand hill pass every time. It's not a you grand hill pass. Yes, you is. Even if he miss, the ball is coming off the rim. They the long rim rebound. The basket, you tell this nigga he's throwing it from one side of the court to the other side of the court. Three pointers. Three pointers are long rebounds. So, so we already you know. already on the run off the rebound. We hitting it to the man that's wide open because you just shot that. Yeah, Your man you is down there. You got to get the rebound and throw it to him. Your man is down there. You, did you get back on him? It don't matter if he don't. You're not making that pass. What? You want to over throw it or under throw it? Whichever one you do, it's going to be. You good. hoping I under throw it. Right I now. On a regular basis. You right talk, now. Like Curry, I said, you trying to bring your pass. Curry is not on him, you first of all. You your pass from Duke when he threw that motherfucker from one end. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> and jump always to the other side. But it's one problem, though. Curry is not on him. He's just shooting the three. You still gotta throw it. You gotta get okay. That's cool. But Curry still gotta get back in on him though, right? So it's always he, he gonna have a person in his face. So the least so you, how he gonna make the pass. The least you will have is him hustling back and you tying him out. He ain't tying that little motherfucker out. Come on, man. You're not making no sense. You know? <laughs> You my game plan. Jay, Jay, how many screens you seen him run through and not get tired? You haven't run through those top those. How those, many screens he ran through and don't get tired? Nigga, if you tell me you run through all those screens, he didn't do. Are you gonna keep running? Them? And, and then the run play. back to catch his man. That's a lot of running, motherfucker. The man ain't gonna sprint back. The man crashed the board. Who? His man always crashed the board. All right. His man Dream. should release to the rim. Draymond. Like I just said, whoever checking him should release to the rim every time. All right, so where was the offensive rebound then? It ends the game for him. Where's the offensive rebound then? Because if I'm shooting a layup when Professor, he shooting a three, Professor, it, it was the rebound, and that was four and five because that man down at the other end looking dumb. Who, why is four and five? Because they got the offensive rebound. And your man that was checking Curry, he went down there. The Curry ain't down rebound. there with no rebound anyway, so it wouldn't matter. So I'm just saying. What do you mean? Curry not getting a rebound. It's other exactly. Curry ain't going to do nothing but shoot a three and stand there and look at it. I'm but, down there waiting. He not getting no rebound any fucking right, way. Doesn't matter. I come back and check him again. He go shoot another three. I'm gonna release again. Doesn't no, matter. No, no, I ain't no. And soon my man get a rebound. I'm wide the fuck open. And he looking dumb. No. no Simple as that. And when he go back to the crowd, I mean, go to his corner or his sideline, and they be like, "Dog, you gotta slam on threes because he releasing on." Simple as that. Nah, that don't work. Is he, Jay? I'm telling you some basketball facts nah, right now, no. Slim. And no, once they had, no, no, no. and think about it, he running about four or five picks, and then he got released and check main man. That's a lot of running in one play, dog. They don't run that. By the fourth quarter, he done. He nobody. That's how you play basketball. Whoever him checking, pound his ass. Don't Simple that as that. Either. Don't do that either. That's why Jordan was better than everybody because at the end you couldn't pound him because he was defense too. You see the difference? These people don't have defense too. They just offense. That's how you can beat them. Curry can't strap nobody up. That's why once he shoot that three release, he can't check nobody. There's no defense with him. Mm-hmm. Now you get it? There's no defense with none of them. Nobody in the league. I LeBron mean, too. It's just took, no defense on the other side. They took that away. You're not all pro defensive player. So we ain't got to worry about you. You know what I'm saying? No, what the only time you play defense if you block them or rebound them. That's it. Mm-hmm. That would I make mean, motherfucker MJ but, the best player who ever played. Yeah? You can steal, but you can't hand check nobody. That ain't happening. That's why I'm basketball. Huh? basketball. If you make them nigga work, he ain't doing that by third quarter, Slim. But then you have other, the other issues when they um when they tamper with the chop club from being 24 to 14. That's a contributing factor. If, if I play the Lakers, I'm running my small forward on screens for no reason. Just to have Melo running the fucking around the court all day. And he's old. This is just he's part old. of the game. We That's just make this nigga run. By third quarter, he useless. He's <laughs> you mean by second quarter? That's what I mean. It's part. That's the game planning. You make these niggas run. Right you make now, Curry run up and down. He shoot at three. His man is releasing. That's a that's, that's 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 a uh that's kind of like a motherfucking uh, when you get reprimanded for something. When you shoot a three, you reprimand this nigga. Every time you shoot a three, you shoot a layup. 
Simple as that. Because right now, the Lakers is the AARP crew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you run all them around screens and get them tied by third quarter. They done. Mm-hmm. Everything is simple, man, mm-hmm. if you play basketball. Minutes. The way they fucking run around. Play basketball, man. Oh, yes. You know? Real don't know about that. Yeah, you know. That's strategy shit. That's that real shit. That's that strategy shit. You know what I'm saying? That NBA live shit, dog. I don't work like that. No, that's reality, no, though. NBA live. That's the NBA live. I can't, I can't see a nigga running about eight picks and chasing a nigga down, down there and shooting a the three, then doing it again and again and again. Yeah. He ain't gonna be able to do it. That's, that's the way you make his brand money. By the f- third quarter, he's sitting down like <laughs> and waiting for somebody else to shoot a three. ASAP. Mm-hmm. And they can't do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do it. No. They got, they got a couple. They got people in the league just shooting threes. They didn't get over half court yet, just shooting a three. This shit is dumb. They don't know that's the easiest shot in the game. That's easier than the layup. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, no. man. Three is very hard. It's very difficult. You tripping, man. You gotta have leg strength. You gotta have leg strength. Yeah, you do. For real? Yeah. You ain't gotta jump to shoot a three. Yeah, what do you, you mean? Do. What are you right, talking you about, man? Use your legs. You know, follow it's them. the easiest shot on the court. No, it isn't. You ain't got no more than one or two people defending you at best two. You can't have no more than two. So everybody else is in the court. And right now, they, so right. stop it. If you go to the rim and shoot a layup, you gotta go past everybody to get to the rim. That's the hardest shot. Yeah. So that three-point shot is the easiest shit right. possible. The layup is the hardest. Because you gotta get to the rim. Getting to the rim is harder than standing there shooting some bullshit up. I think my son can play in the NBA when we all just shooting Jays. No. Literally, you know? You could be, hey, be 13 and play in the NBA, but you're just shooting threes all the time. He said that. It's real easy now. Ben Simmons can't shoot the three. It's the physical part. When you yeah. start going in there and going to the hoop, it's he when said, grown men. Easy, right? It's when you got to be a grown man. But see, Ben Simmons is tall. 6'10 mm-hmm. and can't shoot a three. What do you mean? Shoot ben three? Sim- ben Simmons. He can't shoot a jump shot. My bullshit. Ben Simmons, to me, is too tall for him to be in that position. Shit, he can't even do a magic thing. Come on, man. Magic. I can bring no off Raptor names, you know? Nah, magic had no jump. Crazy shit. Nah, he did. He was 6'9", though. So what? He had no jump. Who else was big? 6'8", eight nine. Mm-hmm. McGrady? Who won point guard? Nah, his, his cousin was, though. He played for, know, uh, was Shaq in them? This card was shooting. Nah, my nigga played for Shaq. He was cold vicious, too. No, he wasn't. Penny had no Shaq. Penny Holloway, nigga. That nigga was like 6'8". Penny? Fucking yeah. point guard, nigga. Penny was like that until he uh, had a back. That nigga was like that, Slim. He had got the injury. Point guard. 6'8". No Shaq. Fuck out of here. And that nigga was vicious, you know? He was a low-budget pippin. You crazy. He's better than Pippen, <laughs> Slim. No budget Pippen. That ain't way better than Pippen. We tripping. You see the nigga passes, young? He was giving a shot back then? Nah, tripping, dog. He was only with shot too. He was kind of like a magic uh, fucking... Pippen mix, right? Yeah. There you go. Pippen was just a surge was a player, man. Stop playing. He wasn't no star. Don't, don't try it. What? He wasn't no star? Don't try that. Why they put him on the 50, top 50 grade? Penny player? Holloway was a star. Penny Holloway was a star? For two years. Right or wrong? Everybody had a jersey. The nigga name years. was Penny Holloway. Yeah. Fuck around. Anthony. Holloway. That, that's right. Yeah. You know you're a star Anthony. when you get nicknames, motherfucker. Not only that, you got shoes after your nickname. Fuck around. Penny was named for that motherfucker. Penny Holloway. Oh, this is good. What's wrong with you, boy? His commercials were more than what he was. Nah, that nigga was like that. He had a baby. He had a little baby baby pin. Yeah. It was him and Shaq. Him and Shaq was one and two. I know everybody had the pin. Him and Shaq was one and two. Some people didn't swap the Jordan nuts at. Huh? Some of us got the dung and some of us got the count. Why everybody keep putting Jordan in? She ain't got to do that. You know Jordan is a supreme shoe, whether you like it or not, nigga. You know, Fuck wrong. Everybody had the pin. Ain't nobody yeah. had no pennies. when They had Jordans too, though. No, nah, they had the pennies. Ain't nobody get no penny and no Jordan. Speaking of Jordan, uh, what's his name? Uh, he, was, he was a current player, and he said that Jordan didn't do shit for the black community. You hear about that? Yeah, uh, Ernest Cantor. Ernest Cantor. Yeah. He embarrassing himself. 
Because Jordan made that donation a few years back. He had burnishing himself, so like stop. Like 2003 when he donated his whole salary to a black hole. Yeah, I gave you that information. Again, yeah. it's more information that you don't know about. Is everybody making a jackass of themselves? So stop. Don't do that. And, and I see why Jordan don't say nothing, because it's dumb for him to react to everybody and think that. Because the people that know he do, that's all he need to worry about. You know what I'm saying, now? Right now, you talking about a nigga that's the first black owner in the NBA. Worry about that. And start flocking some players to his the fucking team. Don't worry about dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Now you talking about a black man that's in history to the one of the most prolific shoes ever sold in history. A black man done that, but nobody want to get that credit. Let's skip over the bullshit and get the real shit that's going on. A man in history that's happening, dog. That nigga history, black history for real on all levels. If we want to go into clothes, he got the most selling shoes. Livia, Vlante, whatever the fuck out there can't sell more shoes than Jordan. They, they wish they could. You know what I'm saying? You can think any white motherfucker out there they can't sell more shoes than the black man can. But nobody want to admit to that. You can't admit that. The first nigga, the owner black motherfucker, the owner motherfucking team, he there now. The second one. But nobody care. You worry about dumb shit. You talking dumb. Why he making history? Fuck around with y'all. What are you doing? <laughs> what? He's the second black man on a team. And he in the NBA with an owner. He's about the only one to own the team right now. If he wasn't there, we no black owners. Mm. Get the fuck. Wake up. Mm. That nigga building a team in Charlotte some damn where. And building it from scratch. A black man doing that. I thought the was there all these LeBrons and all these motherfucking big name players are not running to his team to help him. He's doing it by himself as a black man in a world of white men billionaires by himself building a team. Nobody cares about that. That's history being made in your face. And this had nothing to do with shoes. That's history being made already in your face. Has nothing to do with basketball. I ain't even mentioned basketball yet. We make him the greatest player who ever played. We ain't even talking about that. We talking about the fact that he alone in clothes and fashion sold more shoes than any white man can even possibly dream of. Them are facts, though. His logo goes higher over above any logo a white man can think of right now. Louis Vuitt, Vellante, whatever they can think of, Gucci, whatever the fuck, Jordan, Supreme's all of them. He's a black man. But give him credit for that. Not real. Not the big, not the pro-black people. They worry about some bullshit about what? You don't know what you're talking about. I bet the people don't know. He gave his whole salary up the whole time he played with the Wizards. Nobody knew that. Rail didn't even know that. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot more shit he done. People don't know about. So you're making a fools out of yourself. That's all I'm saying. You're making jackasses out of yourself when you do stuff like that. When a man that's right now is one of the top black people of history, period, he'll be in there. One of the first black men to be in there on top of that. That worked from the bottom up of his skills, dog. Whether you hate that or not, that's MJ. That's Michael Jordan. Build an empire. Bigger than any white man you can think of on earth. But you, you want to keep hating that for some odd reason. But hey, live your life. You know what I'm saying, dog? <laughs> Live your life. Hey, my man is free now. I mean, my man has finally got the guilty plea that he's looking for, right? And Aubrey, I mean, the Aubrey Craigs mm-hmm. in the case. All of them guilty. What about that? Not even the one that just filmed the shit. He guilty, too. No, I'm talking about the chick who's trying to cover it up. What about her? She got some sense. She ain't getting no life, though. Nah. She I think she got, life. like, uh, first of all, she got fired off the break. She can't be a... a D8 no more. That That's that can't happen. That's so she really lost all that. So this is a win-win. This whole case was a win. <coughs> huh? This is a win-win? What you think? She they all guilty. All of them guilty? What the camera man did? He guilty. He all, they all going. All right, so what's the sentence? To me personally, I don't think the one that filmed this shit should even go nowhere. What do you think? Five I think he should got like 10 years. For being a, just just being blocking him with the car and whatever the fuck, <laughs> but the fact that he gave the fact that he gave America that that film that that 
without the film, it would be no case. Yeah, so you, so it's you like they didn't know. give him no sympathy for that. You know what I'm saying? Can you watch the heinous crime happen? Yeah, but, I mean, without him saying, cops, here, I got this film for y'all. America wouldn't have known that man got shot like that, and they would all have got off, all three of them. So I think they just should have showed a little lens to him, a little bit, for not actually being involved, but being there and not doing anything is part of it. But giving us this film to help us convict these two clowns should have been a part of the the help, you know what I'm saying? So instead of life, you should have got 10 years, 15. But I don't think all of I don't think him personally should have got life. Nah. The other two, the father and the son, fuck yeah. <laughs> but the nigga back there recording that, chasing behind them, falling behind them, I don't know. That's kind of sketchy. That's kind of sketchy. Because without that you know film, fight these, these right? without that film, we have nothing. You know They're what I'm saying? They're going to say Judge Jackson and all them fuck with it and Conviction and all that, you know, they got their shit lined up. So, True, you know, they're gonna try and try it. Wait till everybody calm down, you know, the rent house and then this, and people on air. So, I thought they were gonna burn that town down, you know, but they had it coming. Uh, yeah, certain shit is just like, I don't think they were gonna, I mean, they didn't let all three of them go, they've been crazy as fuck, but yeah, I think I know what I was saying, I at least thought the son was gonna go, but I just thought the other two wasn't. I didn't Somebody think the father was going to go. The father didn't take it. The father stepped in front of it. He hated for everybody. They might have left the other man. Now, the father egged the whole thing on, but I didn't think he was going to go to jail for life. Put like that. I didn't know. And the guy that filmed it, I didn't just think those two was going for life. So I knew for a fact so this nigga here. Yeah, I, just, I knew for a fact that the nigga that shot this nigga, he was done. But the, the nigga that filmed it, I don't know. That's mm-hmm. that's close, but all of them cops got too though. The cops will let the nigga sit there and die. They ain't trying to get him treatment. That's or true. Help. That's yeah, true. They, they don't need to be working no more either. That's true. They sat there making a joke of it. This man still alive, breathing. Nobody calling for help. That's true. All oh, they gotta be is counting for. Him. Shit. Man, he was laying there too. Yeah. yeah. He was laying there for a good little minute. Mandatory life sentence. All of them. I just, I mean, of course. The first one, the, the one that shot him, yeah. I just think the one that recorded it, they should have showed something like, nigga. Man, years. Because I'm going to tell you, without that film, nothing would have happened, son. Right? We talking about all police officers forgetting about all evidence on the scene. Yeah. yeah they took right. them two months to even pick these people up. Without that camera, that's the only thing that convicted these two. These three, really. And I just think the person that gave you the, the, the footage just should have... I don't know. You should have just thought about it. And then he wasn't actually in physically doing it to them. You just should have looked out for him a little more just for giving us that evidence of America. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have to do that. He would have destroyed that, went home and destroyed that shit. We'd have been all fucked. You know what I'm saying? But they never asked him about it. He told them he got it. You know what I'm saying? So Okay, here we go. Go ahead, Jason. murder... The son got that. He's the only one that got that. Because he, you know, pulled the trigger. Yeah, it was like, he got like nine counts. The other one got nine counts. They just didn't, like, this father didn't they get. They all got felony murder. The father didn't get uh, manslaughter and shit like that. But they still got life in prison for the murder. They, but Travis McMichael got malice murder. Uh, all of them got felony murder. By participating. Uh, aggravated assault, they all got that. Um, the only, the only person that got a non guilty of at least two, three charges was the, the recorder guy. Um, yeah, they let them all with some of the charges though. False imprisonment, they all guilty of that. Criminal attempt to commit false imprisonment. We all guilty as that. So the white boy blocked him off with his truck while he was recording. So that's they used good. that's how we yeah. So you gotta answer for that too. Yeah. You might got but one. life? Well, no, you, you, you what you think? Him. What you think though? I, I they got agree. mandatory life. Yeah. No, I mean by even him? Even the one that, that filmed it? Y'all think he should got mandatory? Yeah, he's cook spirit. According to the junk. They, all three of them is 
all three of them is uh, uh, subject to mandatory life. But out of all three of them, the record the person that recorded it got a lighter sentence. You know, got a lighter dude. Yeah, lighter than those three. But he's still alive, though. He's still in there for twenty five to life. Right. That's a long ass time. He think he like sixty. He fifty something. Right. Yeah. So he done. Done like done. Yeah. But watching the case in this, the white mom for the son, I just think he really thought he was getting off. Put it like that. <laughs> I really do. I really do think he was getting off. And shouts out to motherfucking Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson. He, these folks that real don't like. Shouts out to both of y'all going down that joint and showing y'all face in the uh, courtroom. I appreciate that a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. that, that disrupted the, uh, their attorney a whole lot. He didn't know what to do with that. He kept trying to get y'all put out of there and all types of shit. Nigga, he said, and he one time he got he stood up and said he don't want no black pastors in the joint. Like, what what, what do y'all got left out there? Any more black pastors? I don't want to see them all. Like, what? Nigga? That kind of sound kind of racist. He made it some look stupid. Yeah, he did. He did. Y'all like make himself. He shots out to y'all, man. And he uh, he was one of the criminal crop attorneys too. I ain't gonna say. I'm gonna lie, he was a bum of the food country lawyer, but these lawyers were good as shit, dog. As far as that low, dirty tactics type shit, yeah. they was good at that shit. You know, like, wing shit. like blocking people from being on the jury, all that wild shit you ain't thinking about. They was doing all that and kept putting motions to dismiss the, the trial. He did that like eight times. And I'm glad they didn't get a judge that would take one of those that was, and dismiss the shit. That was like Kyle Rittenhouse judge. That would have been a problem. That nigga had a Seneca in his back. That would have been a problem for sure. That definitely been a problem. That judge had a Seneca, a, a visible white hoodie. <laughs> that was true. He was trying his best to have that jury overturn that thing. But the jury did it their way. Ain't nothing he can do. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about having juries. If it's straight a judge, you're in trouble. But you got juries, you got a chance if you can get the right people in there, motherfucker, man. The people that can listen and understand what's happening. You know what I'm saying? And the bad thing about that case is that right after that, first person you go visit was Trump. Yeah. He went to this mansion. Him and his mother was all on Fox that day. Yeah. That's what I was trying to tell y'all, man. They on Fox, but yet the victims ain't nobody spoke to them motherfuckers yet. The victim people. Not saying, oh yeah, well. That's what I'd be saying. His father would be all on TV. One of, one of the fathers. But see, what they always considered white white wingers was always considered that Black Lives Matter was a terrorist group, and their own group was a terrorist group. To be honest True. with you, the truth be told, they always said that Black Lives Matter movement was a terrorist group, and. Basically, the guys, the white guys that got killed, are pretty much nigga lovers. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna be mob muffin. Don't let nothing happen. Y'all want right? Motherfuckers gonna be out there shooting motherfuckers. Yeah, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Yeah, and they're gonna get the green light for that too. Yeah, we protecting this property. You try to steal anything, pop. AK forty-seven. That's it. I mean, that's the same thing like when they protested here. You see the difference between their protesting Black Lives Matter and they running up in the Capitol January 6th. It's a big difference of what happened. I mean, they actually let them fools go in the jail so, so the to, uh, go, to go hang people that they didn't really fuck with in the Capitol, which in which recently one of the motherfuckers drew a cartoon of a senator getting shot in the head. Did y'all hear about that? Mm. Yeah, he wrote a, one of the senators drew a cartoon of his co worker of a Democrat that works in the same building as they do getting shot in the head. Now, and for him to draw some shit like that, it's not that he wished that that happened to him. I mean, it's not like, you know, he just doing it just to be doing it. 
he wished that happened to all uh, you know left wing, you know, and for them to just let shit like that slide because that right there considered as a fucking threat. And they and the senator, I don't have his name information of his name, but he uh specifically said this dude should get shot in the head. Mm-hmm. And that was like when the rioters came up in the Capitol, they wanted to hang that notes, they wanted to hang against a few other people that was against Trump. And then I'm like, and they letting this shit slide. I mean, it tells you where and uh, where we at at this point in the United States. We're in the government Pacific. I was told right. Anything built off fucked upness, you don't always have a core fucked up. Um, until that is redone, these laws are stupid. Some of the shit is just outdated. It's not even needed anymore. But you can still use it because it's dead. That's what they do. Stay your ground. Uh, this ain't the wild, wild west no more. The fuck you need a gun for. You got a gun and you're using it. You, at minimum, you gotta do the gun charge. Can't throw that out. Saying, oh yeah, he gave me. The gun. <laughs> he gave me the gun. Okay. I'm happy to see a mom already got justice. You know what I'm saying? He ain't here. He got justice. No matter what he was led to thinking about doing, A, he ain't done it yet, and B, they was just fucking with him. You know, I know it's my man been quiet, but his black lady, who was a former DA for California, I don't say shit. Biden's speaking his mind and say just don't don't burn shit down. But she just mildly quiet, and this is her area of field. You know what I'm saying? She mad quiet. She don't say nothing. Don't worry about it. I love the black ladies. Why we, got, why we can't worry about that, Jay? Now, speaking of the black ladies, the black lady. There's three prosecutors on that trial that got. The conviction, right? There's one of them is a black lady named Larissa Olivia. Now, she went to Howard. You know what I'm saying? Now, <laughs> if people don't know, it's a black lady and there's a prosecutor. There was three prosecutors on there. It was two other ones. I don't care about y'all right now. Yeah. We're talking about the black lady. Dirty yes, ass indeed. Dirty ass Prosecutor that got the guilty verdict. You know what I'm saying, dog? Guilty on all three of y'all bitch ass niggas for shooting Aubrey. All three of y'all going to jail. You see what I'm saying, dog? That comes from a black lady, a black lawyer. You know what I'm saying, dog? In this case, anybody ain't know. I like to point out when black people are involved in things. You know what I'm saying, dog? Especially the ladies. Especially the black ladies, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Larissa, just in case nobody else not know. She's an assistant district attorney for Cobb County, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and she was part of this trial that got those three white boys locked up for life. I watched them, you know what I'm saying? The first time I seen them, I was like, oh, that's like that little black girl. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, evil do it. Come on, though. No, no, no. They're evil do it. They were white. I understand that, but they were evil doers. Which Justice leads to their bias and the reasons why they shot my man. You know what I'm saying? Because they were white. What she pointed out, I like her too. I love you. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with you after this. Hey, get an Instagram. Stop playing too. You know what I'm saying? Out. Larissa. Hey, y'all notice how I point out all the black ladies before anybody knows they in your life. You know what I'm saying? Out. So if you didn't know, now you know, you know what I'm saying? Part of the prosecution. Yeah. Black ladies. Again, just like I let y'all know, it's a black lady part of the whole motherfucking shot. So I'm letting you know it's a black lady involved in this prosecution that got this motherfucker, all three of them, guilty. You know what I'm saying? Uh, guilty. Larissa. Appreciate you, baby. You know what I'm saying? Uh, real don't know about that. The black lady love. <laughs> I love the black ladies. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you talk that half Indian black ladies do a job. Huh? 
I'm so quiet. I'm not gonna say anything. Quiet. Yeah, she quiet. What was her statement? What do you mean, bro? All this went down. What was her statement? Again, you talking about? I made a statement. Why did she make a statement? This is her area of field. Hmm. Okay. This is her field of expertise. Did she think justice was done? They didn't ask her. I know, but that point she should have put her point out there. No. She a lawyer. She know what's going on. She's not, the done. She's not the president. She's not the president. I don't care. Even in the operator order uh, written out, she didn't make a statement on these. Can't get involved in that, bro. She can't get involved. She's the no. vice president, right? She's number two, right? She the vice yeah, president. She, she, Think about that. She's some number two, all right. I like when you say that. Yeah, she's some number two. <coughs> she huh? She's some number two shit. That's what she is. Did you like the ring of that? Yeah. She's a black vice president. Now, you got to remember, she is the vice president, right? So, as the president and vice president, you cannot go against what the verdicts are in trials, right? Because that undercuts the whole thing of you being president and vice president. You know what I'm saying? No. What do you mean? You have the expertise to critique it. Bro. You can say, no, you, know, you can't critique. Yeah, you can. You can't critique a jury. Yeah, you can. No. You can critique the whole process that happened in, in Genosha. No, 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 no. You can be like, well, I said that those all was followed. Or he could have like it was a great manipulation out there. He could have could still scratching my head of why they threw that gun case out. But he could he could have critiqued a judge, maybe. He, but you uh, can't critique a jury, my nigga. They they said he was guilty. There's nothing else to be said. Nothing. Guilty, nothing. You know? Guess, but yeah. So what about that, that gun charge? Why was that thrown out? Because you, you, you got a invisible hood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Invisible hoodies. So you tell me, no, he got a uh, he got a white hoodie too. So I can walk around with a assault rifle and you know this West Compton and I'm good. Nah, I'm getting on the spot. Nah, not why you're black. Yeah, I'm protecting these black businesses from all y'all people from stealing from. Me. They don't care about black business. Yeah. <laughs> make it make sense. Matter of fact, they want to put a cocktail through the window. She didn't even say nothing about the Howard issue. And she went there. When they had them slum lord dorms and all that shit, and the kids were protesting that, she kept crying. Man, I just remember she might know Larissa. Oh my God, the black ladies unite! Hey, she might know Larissa because they went to. Know. You know that, right? You might hey, that. and the whole that. time you back there talking nonsense, they probably eat somewhere eating dinner together because yeah. they know each other. They nah, went to the I same know. school, probably the same know. time. No, nah, no way. Now I'm thinking about it. It's the same she, time. She's older than dirt. They're she the same what? age. She went back in. And How old do you think the vice president is? She's like 54. She's in her 50s. That's mean she's probably like 50. Huh? She was going, she was going to Howard during the crack epidemic. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Might be. Yeah, you might have followed it. I know I went to Howard. I, I did it. Drop off over at Howard today, and I saw some white people. There's a lot of them out there. Thank you. But in trees, too. It's yeah, she's she 56. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, she was right in the heat of the crack after them. Right when it perked off. Y'all was tearing the porches up up there. That's all y'all was doing. Mm -hmm. yeah, 56. Right yeah, there you go. That's a perfect age. Full swing right there. She might even inhale something. She's like she's a coke smoker. She had a crackhead, she had coke smoke. She did say she smoked weed. Yeah, she smoked coke. She might have been <laughs> like, tripping out. She did mushrooms and shit like that. But still, she didn't even talk about it. That's my, back to the original point. I like, just lazy, non want to do anything, not saying nothing. Mm -hmm. Not saying the school you went to, I'm going to make a donation. Well, the thing. She didn't help them mm -hmm. out. The, I mean, the big living conditions that them kids were living in, how old them dorms are. And you went there and you the vice fucking president and you can't get money sent that way? So she's supposed to be as vice president worried about one school? Not just one school. All right, all all right. But she ain't doing nothing. She ain't saying nothing about the current crisis though. If it was that bad, them kids had to sit around and stand outside and protest the way they did. And you don't say nothing? You don't, uh, I ain't going to get involved in it, but I'm going to send somebody to mediate that? Come on, man. Make I got a buddy it. that does the dorm rooms. Um, he does carpet, and 
Take the shower, and you just get out the tub, and you do that for a whole year or for two years without washing the tub out. Mm. That shit was fucked up. Mold was in the jar, yeah. and I was like, "How the fuck y'all live like that?" And one, and one, some somebody had left their drawers in the jar, and it was crispy. <laughs> <laughs> you say crispy? Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> the drums just sit there and, and fucked up like that. And you just stretch them out and put a king. <laughs> yeah, she got to be more active. You can't keep that in the office. She's a black lady. Mm-hmm. You got to hold her accountable, dog. You know what I'm saying? She got accountable for vocal. what? You know what I'm saying? She got to be more vocal, dog. Her voice matters. She speaks for a black lady. Her expertise is the law. That's her foundation. She can she can say from the assessment I seen in the trial, I think it was handled this way, or it was handled that way. Huh? She ain't saying none of that. She ain't giving us no view of her head. And she been a lawyer for a long time. She has seen a lot of cases. She can see if bias is being done. She ain't saying nothing. She ain't assuring us that, yeah, I think the trial was over like this. I think the trial was this. She ain't saying none of that. She did. No, she did. What her statement was that? She had some more written house joint. And she ain't get a chance to say about this one yet. You know, she got, See what I'm you know, saying? She got, she, got, she got to speak up, though. Huh? She, got, she can't be one of those 1950 women. Again. She won't be seen, not heard. There you go. What's this? October we in? November now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's eight months. Of them They've been president for nine months nothing. and vice president. Nothing. What are you talking about right they, now? They, yeah. they, they hate it. They don't They're want not they, making they don't any sense. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? She had the power for 15 minutes and she don't know what to do with it. She you know? know? Don't she forget that. The first black lady president. She sweating her dress out. You know what I'm saying? What they call it? The blouse? The under blouse? What they call the under blouse? The, uh, the girdle? The girdle or whatever that is. The protecting one. Someone used to always have it. Someone used to always have it. Yeah, the girdle. Yeah, <laughs> all that. Speak up, lady. Well, I ain't heard your voice. I don't, I don't know you exist. Like mm-hmm. back in the day when they had to show that. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, did you, that's did, man, though. Did you, you hear Al Gore? Can they go for more? Did you hear Al Gore, though? No, well, I All right. Didn't hear Al Gore. None of them four years, did you? Yeah, he, he was doing a lot, though. Yeah. No, no, no my bad. Not Al Gore. Oh, Typical. my God. Typical ran right her fucking mouth. Okay, okay, well, hold up. Hold up. Typical. You didn't twice, hear twice Gore. Had the, she had a testicular you see what I'm saying? She had the lady Kahuna. You didn't hear Gore at all, though. I know. I but he was real it. busy. He was doing a lot of things. No, he wasn't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, was doing typical was though. I remember that name all through the night. Typical this, typical that. Oh, typical man. fighting this. Typical was against that. I was like, ow, oh, get your wife in the chat. Let's sit the fuck down. <laughs> Hillary ain't even do nothing. Hillary was quiet. Typical was out there. Not long ago, Hillary passed some laws that fucked up the black generation. Now you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't forget about that either. Jay. Don't ever yeah. forget about that, Jay. Who was doing what? Uh, Hillary and Biden was out there passing them fucked up laws. But we we even talk about all that. That's the past, you know what I'm saying? We had a new future. Bro, Hillary's laying in the bed. Yeah, she wasn't doing that. She our background law too. Oh. Forgot she's a lawyer. All they, they don't say nothing. She ain't saying nothing either. She awful quiet. She did. Do you follow these people on Instagram and Twitter? What's the, the Instagram and Twitter guy? That's what they be saying shit at, That's man. Saying. <laughs> right on, Jay. They they, they do the shit on Twitter and all they, that, they, man. They qualify it. They do. They send that shit out on Twitter. What's wrong with I you? I have man? Twitter, but I don't get on it. I know about six Twitter and I'm a fool. No, no, no. No, TikTok is fool. No, Instagram is fool. No, 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 no. Twitter fool. <laughs> no, no, Straight fool. Grab no. <laughs> no, no. Over speed up. <laughs> no, no, no. All that shit, man. All the all the politicians and all them joints, they put their statements on Twitter. Twitter? Yeah. Twitter? Yeah. 
You got to remember, man, she just doing things right now where she just the vice president. She busy, too. She busy. She got a lot of shit she doing, yeah? Hey, this man, like, he in love with the woman he making excuses for. <laughs> Very busy right now, man. Very busy. You know what I'm saying, Jay? She's taking a long dick style. Nah, she's not doing that with no white boys. She got, <laughs> she know what I mean? she got white boys, yeah. Yeah, she do got white boys. She got white boys. <laughs> that would take her points away. She got take her points away. Yes, it do. <laughs> That's for sure. Boy, she already have Indian. Now her kids have Indian, have white, have you black. stick white up in you, we lose all the blacks in you. Goddamn. We all got a little bit of that in us. It's like you're trying to rinse the black out. Jay got a little white in him. He couldn't help it. Grandmama, grandmama. Get taken. Yeah. I don't know about that one. Yeah, she got to take it. We wouldn't be here. Whew. Shout out to that lady. We know y'all had the, the rough day back, back, way back, way back. Best believe that. Yeah. Best believe that one. Mm-hmm. Jay? Did it. That's what I'm here. <laughs> happy what? Yeah, happy I ain't, ain't giving to hate, you know what I'm saying? Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Neither would they. Oh. As you were saying. Now, I want to ask y'all. They saying the motherfucking, uh, what's the name she might be liable for? $26 million and shit. For the uh, Astroworld joint. No, I got to show you. Y'all agree with that? No. This shit, um... I know I heard that the Astroworld total of super suits is $750 million. It was something out of court. Which is something that he, I know he ain't got. That trial, that show turned out to be the worst investment ever, yeah. Cause and then, what's her name? Took shots at his concert. Scissor said, This ain't the Astroworld. I'm going to announce my fan. <laughs> now they got insurance joint. TMZ got an insurance um certificate, liability insurance document from them that they filed like or before they did the joint. Now it said the policy provides for one million in primary coverage with twenty five million umbrella, with eight dead and more than three hundred injured. Damages could go into the hundreds of millions of dollars, which means they ain't got the um, insurance for this. If the policy the- doesn't cover the judgment, then the NRG will be responsible for the everything, anything above the policy limit. So the policy limit is $25 million. We already know that shit's way past that. Mm-hmm. We already know that. It's, it's way. 20, what? I don't know, maybe for like three or four people. 25 million? The damages and injuries that was done that day? Nah, that's no way in there. You need way more than that. So we already know the, the uh, insurance is not going to cover none of this shit. It's so yeah. Travis going to start stick something in that thing. That pot, yeah. that yeah. kitty. <laughs> but see, you got Drake that's involved. You got him involved. You got a few other people involved. Yeah, hmm. some people that said they're going to donate money for some funeral services. Yeah, some people that said they're going to cater to Eight people that died, they might get some of that 25. The rest of them, 300 miscellaneous, they're going to always sell it off. Everybody's going to probably get like $50 on a free ticket or something. It says once the limit is reached on insurance, Travis and the various companies will be responsible for the balances. Damn. Damn. Yeah, they got that covered. Yeah, sure. it, 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 but if someone don't cover, it's going to be a little bit after that. Yeah, like yeah. Kylie. Like Kylie. You're going to have to uh, give us money. <laughs> At the end of the day, the people can't make a claim if they sign up to go to the tickets. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's on the ticket. You know what I'm saying? And you, you knew where the area you was going into. So, like I, I said, know, the people man. that died, the eight people that died, they people getting buried. That's going to be out of that 25. The only thing you really can blame an artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, maybe the venue was not prepared for that 
I don't know. It's just hard to blame anybody for this shit. Everything you know. They're trying to pay him out to be the bad guy, but they don't want him. The venue people knew that they kept they made money hand over fist. And the motherfuckers in there, probably was too many people in there. Shit like that would happen. You knew when you signed. Oh, there's definitely a ton of motherfuckers in there. Or well, your seven year old there, I never know. You know what I'm saying? That's dumb. That's a whole other issue. All that's gonna be covered in court. And but it so was a ton of people there. Yeah, so you know. But Travis Scott, though, he might have to come out of his pocket for some of this shit. It, it got to go way fucked up. Motherfuckers gotta get oh, it's fifty regulated. million dollar settlements for all the people. Oh my god. They ain't gonna do that. Probably get people like funeral I service. Feel for you, Travis. And shout out to Travis, man. He's on one of our first podcasts and shit. Motherfucking messaging back and forth and shit. <laughs> Man, you in the world. I swear to God. Either he got to come up with the money, the record label, and that's it. It's going to be him. And it's going to put him in. He'll be looking for Snitch Nine, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, hey, Snitch Nine, hey, we're going to do some videos now on YouTube that makes YouTube money. <laughs> Once we see that, oh my God. Or we'll see that motherfucker reality show. Here we go. You know what I'm saying, Doc? Here we go. I should be safe when y'all take me. Huh? This is concerts, man. I got to do our research. The concerts? Yeah, and I don't want to take no kid. That's like 14 or 15 anyway. No, no, they shouldn't be there anyway. That's just like a, like a movie theater or a little thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nah. Like the MGM or something like Cause that. Because one thing about concerts, they smoking and drinking and... Yeah. You don't want to, why would I have a kid I mean, around? Depends. Now they're going to see like Molly Cyrus. This shouldn't have no Before kid. Before Molly went crazy. You know, okay. This shouldn't have no kid in no concert like this. It yeah. should be at Ralph, Ralphy concert singing the Baby Baluga song with fucking Will. That's I mean, you can't <laughs> to see the, the Bastion Boys and Anson. But that's the thing. When they had these concerts and some of these people singing and some of these people that rap. They mixing the thing up where you can't tell if they doing it for kids or what. Then you have a crowd where you have kids mixed up with grown men. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the game motherfucker that do the, uh, what's this nigga? They want to, yeah, man. where he started off with kids. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. So if we go to his concert, kids will want to go there. Then you have kids mixed with grown people. That's a, that's an odd concert. You feel me? Now, now this is his concert, and it's about time for him to say, "Hey, I want some of you to come up on the stage and you pick a kid up and you fill him on his ass." Then you got a problem. <laughs> they said, "Pick a kid out, though, yeah." Martell is doing it. There, now somebody's son is subject of a product of ass filling. That's crazy. <laughs> But that, but that's a different topic for a different day. You best believe that. It goes back to what I said when, when, like what you said, start off with kids. Yeah. It's, <laughs> so you go to a concert. It's kind of hard. That's like what R. Kelly always said. I'm the Pied Piper of um, our <laughs> Who's the Pied Piper? The guy that plays the Piper and the kids to follow. That's what I'm saying. Like uh, Lil Nas X, he started off with the, what's the name of that shit? That country shit? Old Town Road. Old Town Road shit where you got kids liking that shit. So if you have a concert, grown people will go there. Kids will go there. You got a wrong mixture of kids and grown people. You ain't supposed to have that. You know what I'm saying? What kind of music are you doing, motherfucker? Damn good comment. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Then you're on stage. <laughs> booty shorts on. <laughs> Talking about, bring him up. Bring this little kid right there like what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, these turn side kiss dude and shit. Hey, I'm gonna kiss this man real quick. Bring bring your son up. Like what, nigga? Bring my son up there. Yeah, bring your son. Stop him real. That's the problem right there, yeah. Yep. That's, not, that's, that's what I'm like, saying. But gee, and that's like you take the kids to the store. And you, I, I went to the store yesterday. Five below. Five below. Boy yeah. picked up. Boy picked up a dog baby. He said, "She did exactly what you're supposed to do. That's for girls. This, this for girls. You know what I'm saying? 
Shit. And put that shit back. <laughs> now they want you to say, not say that, no. say it. All right. Now, you know, for instance, now what they want you to do is if a kid pick up a dog bait, if your son pick up a dog bait, and your response is, is are you sure you want to play with that? That's, you know, that's girl tour. And if that's what he want to play with, then supposed to shut the fuck up. That's yeah. what you wanted. That's what they want you to do now. Oh, okay. Nah, I can't do that. What to say? I'm like, son, son, just pick out. <laughs> we ain't got this out. You know? <laughs> Come on, we're going to the race car. We're going to the race car uh, section. <laughs> it's in the race car section. You know? We're going to get this tight. That's right. We growing up, the type of tours that I was subject to was like connects and the Lincoln Logs and you know shit that you build. Yeah. And racing car joint. I had a couple of little race car joints. I had an old fashioned Lego. Old old Lego. I had that too. The joints that didn't bend enough, and you had to know what you were doing with them all. Oh yeah. You build all type shit with them joints though. Yeah. I always wanted the Death Star. That's on $900. I think we built a motherfucking a boat or some shit one day. Y'all remember the car, the toy car model Jones? Yeah. It came with a thousand pieces. Yeah. yeah. Glue that shit on. <laughs> we had a plane too one time. Yeah. Plane, yo. From a motherfucking motor control car earlier. I had a game, the mm-hmm. All them Jones. I mad shit. Hey, that's the only time we used to use batteries. I don't think they use nine volt batteries. None of that no more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. None of that shit. Yeah, they had batteries. batteries yeah. I remember I had the little jump, the racing car jump, you know, to go forward, backwards, and turn left and right like that. Oh, yeah. You'd be outside. Everything yeah. ran by batteries back then. The RC yeah. joint. That's the RC radio uh, car joint. I saw that. I was only one of the nephews. I don't get them. Techno drum, no, I'm a techno drum. No, nah. you ain't watching that tour with the techno drum. Yeah, I had that. <laughs> I had the uh, first Megazord. Man. I and my brother took all that shit too. He's like, but you too old for this shit. I'm like, man, I collected that shit, man. I can't remember it, man. But yeah, it became a collector's item. Yeah, I kept trying to tell him motherfuckers that. I just had the curve, man. You know that, but you know hood, they don't, they don't need that shit. I mean, you don't need it no more. I can't have all my toys done. That's like, <laughs> I'm like, damn, dog, you took my whole little football toy check. That's like, I, uh, I don't know if you know, but like, that's like, you know, you get a regular, old, the old fashioned Nintendo. Yeah. That shit is almost $100 now. It's more than that. It's like, like no old joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The real one. Yeah. The real yeah. Nintendo, yeah. not the one that. The little mini jump. Yeah. Repeating it out. Yeah. Yeah, that's real. The original, you know, expensive. Atari's too. I used to have all of them. I had that, two Nintendo. All of those is expensive now. Yeah, my brother did all that shit. Like, the only one I never got was Neo Geo. But games now, they can get off the computer now. They yeah, ain't really yeah, yeah, you can do that on a computer now. Yeah. yeah. Or on a DS, the Switch. The Switch got all of the old Nintendo on it too. Oh, yeah. You got to buy the pass. I don't show much shit the other day. Like, damn, you got all the Nintendo games on here? She's like, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> she ain't know. Yeah, I ain't know. She knew. She ain't tell. Me. Like you can Super Nintendo, Nintendo games. Yeah. I was gonna say something about that, but I don't want Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> I got them too, but yeah, special. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Well, okay, again. Yeah, he put me in the emulator for the arcade. Symphony game, the X Men one, all he got. Oh, I had to redo that. I'll be looking for him on there too. This one, one you got me don't have it. And that's because the emulators, the the mean, the mean joint. You got to pick one. I saw that link you sent me. I told you to check it out. Forty dollars for all the new year again. Forty dollars for this. Which one you showed me? 
No, it's free. It's free. Yeah, you're supposed to download the whole job. What you do? Yeah, go like, uh, yeah, go like, uh, yeah, download He <laughs> said, don't eat. Yeah, I'm about to say, I don't eat some money again. Yeah, don't eat, I'm paying for it. What? Let's get up out of here, man. Hey, y'all got something to say for me out here, though? Check it out, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Y'all ready for football teams, and we got them in the record. You gonna see that next week? We got merch coming, baby. Merch coming. And have some faith, man. Go all that shit. The rhymes. The rhymes. Jay, you got something to say? We got it up. This is straight go-go for me. Ha ha ha! Yeah. Um, everybody stay safe. Yeah, yeah now nah. get that mace with you, boy. Yeah, because you will be got. <laughs> <laughs> they say you will be got. Shout out to everybody that tunes in from coast to coast worldwide. From LA to Virginia, Pennsylvania. We appreciate the whole lot. Shout out to everybody in Canada. You know what I'm saying? Now, we appreciate this right here, right here. Check these videos out. You know what I'm saying? Now, Spotify, Google Podcasts, our podcast, where we get your podcast, and we there. Live streams, we there. All that's your boy. Shouts out to everybody and download our podcast from Post to Post Worldwide.